Personal Jesus, this was originally by Depeche Mode, but we do have some iconic covers with this song, particularly the Johnny Cash one. Any other cover version of this song is played the same as the Depeche Mode version, apart from the Johnny Cash one, and I'll be covering the differences between all the versions and all sections of this great song. So I'm going to talk you through the notes that make this riff first of all and demo this as the Johnny Cash version because it's a little bit easier and it's also without a capo. The Peshmo version is all the same notes but with a capo or a capo at the second fret and a guitar capos are linked to at the top of the description where this video is. Uh, so we have the open E string, nice and easy. I'm going to be using a pick. The other two notes that make this riff are the middle finger at the third fret, and remember when we're fretting any note, we want to be at this side of the fret area rather than this side. So just here. And then the first finger plays the second fret on string four, which is an E note. It's an octave of the open string. But importantly, we want to employ, or I want to encourage you to employ, a muting technique here, where we position our finger so we're holding down a note with the inside of the first finger, just here, like this. Therefore, we can mute string five, so I'm picking it now, but it's not ringing out, and also string three, so that if I pick, you know, the thickest four strings, rings out, doesn't ring out, rings out, doesn't ring out. That is the same technique as if I was doing any lead guitar, string bending or vibrato kind of techniques. That's how we want to be playing a lot of lead guitar stuff and rhythm guitar stuff with our first finger on the inside of that first finger rather than like this. This is in the blues rock genre especially. The notes themselves are open string six, middle finger, I would employ a flick off here. That's what I've, I've been doing when I've been jamming this riff. I find it a lot easier to do that don't have the flick off technique down, just pick the open string. Then we pick this octave note. Or with a flick off. Very slight bend down so that the pitch goes up slightly with the middle finger. And then it's that same technique again. It is that that is repeated, but we don't play on beat one. The riff starts on beat one, but we don't play on beat one when it repeats. So, to a count, two, three, four, one, two and three, four and, and two and three, four and. The other technique thing I'm employing is this right hand, the picking hand but then there's a change of the angle to pick string four. First notes are on string six, and I'm kind of leaning to the thumb side of my hand. When I pick string four, I lean to the outside of the hand so that I can pick string four without also hitting the thicker strings. I'm overemphasizing what I'm doing there, but that's a really important picking point because we have to skip the string, we're not picking string five. And as I say, you can do it as more of a strum. And if we just strum it, it's down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Something to play about with. However, all of those notes are the same as the notes played in the Depeche Mode version, every version of this song. 
but the Johnny Cash version there is to a straight rhythm. Bam, 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 bam. And all the other versions are to a swing rhythm. They have a bounce to them. Bam, bam, ba, bam, 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 bam. And all that means is all the notes that are played on the offbeat are a little later. They're swung a little bit later in time. Using the same notes. That's the Johnny Cash version. Uh, Depeche Mode and every other version with swing. Same notes, but a totally different feel, and you have to be sure whether you're going for one or the other because they, they don't sound good together at the same time. Nice way to distinguish it is the Johnny Cash version has no capo, all the other versions you want to put a capo or your capo at the second fret, and do exactly the same thing, proportionate to that capo, same muting technique would be great, but with swing, with this bounce to it. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. And all it means is the rhythm is going to a grid of like that with the bounce, rather than da -da 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 -da, rather than everything being equal like that. It's got a bounce. Employing that technique. right hand should make that string skip very good but a lot of people really struggle with that it's a little twist of the wrist there um, but it's really going to be this rhythm that might blow some of your guys minds it's it can be a tricky thing to do so I'll leave some help uh, in the description some recommended lessons for rhythm guitar playing for that kind of thing Let's keep the capo on because uh, both of the versions are the same for the verses all versions it's always the riff. The verses do that riff six times from when the vocals start and then when the lyrics go someone to hear your prayers, someone who cares, it's the same riff but a string down. String five to string three, first finger set up on the second fret on string three. Just the once. And then it's a G, I play a G5, which is a normal G major chord, but without that first finger, and with the third and little finger down. I like this G. And then we move to uh, a G slash F sharp. Just move that first finger to the second fret. G, G slash F sharp. Let me play all of that for you. One, two, three. You're on personal. Jesus, someone to hear your prayers, someone who cares, and repeat. Exactly the same for the Johnny Cash version. Just it's straight rather than swung. Your own personal. Someone to hear your prayers, someone who cares. Keeping the capo off for the chorus, this is basically the same progression no matter what version you're going for. It's the rhythms that are really different. Uh, but we have E minor for two bars, uh, quite a few chords coming up. We then have a G major chord. Standard way of playing a G major to D major. A minor. Uh, Depeche mode, well let's, no, let's go for the no capo. Johnny Cash version would be E minor to C. The uh, Depeche mode version hits one B power chord then to a C and you might do them both as power chords. It's just those last two chords that are different. Let's go for the old favorite, down, down, up, up, down. For this one, it works really great and that's the uh, strumming pattern that both these versions always default to. One, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, 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 G. D, A minor, 
E minor C. And that was down, down, up, down, down, up, because of the change of chord being in the middle of the bar. So this down, down, up, up, down patterns for every chord written, it's just E minor and G, because they're in the same bar. One more time. Feeling unknown and you're all alone Flesh and bone by the telephone Lift up the receiver, I'll make you a believer Exactly the same for Depeche Mode version, but I'm gonna hit a B power chord and then a C power chord, so rather than E minor and C just at the end. And we're to the swing rhythm, so this down, down, up, up, down, da, 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 slightly different rhythm. Two, three. Feeling unknown when you're all alone, flesh and bone by the telephone. Lift up the receiver, I'll make you a believer. The only other part to the song is the reach out and touch faith. Reach out and touch faith. This uh, is an F sharp seven chord, but not as a bar. This is just, um, this would be the bar chord shape. It's the equivalent of doing this, but much easier. We can go one, two, three, four. So this is like an E major chord slid up two frets with the first finger on, thumb muting string six or holding it down. You choose. If you can hold it down, great. If not, just mute it. That's our F sharp dominant seven chord to an F sharp major seven. Both cases, it's the same chord shape. We're just leaving the Thinnest string ringing out. One, two, three, four, reach out and touch faith. Back to the riff. Reach out and touch faith. And the same for the Johnny Cash version, exact same version. Play that E major chord with fingers two, three, and four. Slide it up once, twice. First finger and thumb down, that is our F sharp. E, F, F sharp. Slide it down by one fret, back to the riff. Two, three, four, reach out and touch faith. That's how to play all versions of Personal Jesus. More help for that in the description of this video, and I'll leave a couple of helpful videos on the screen now, but as soon as you got it, jam along to the original recordings or the cover versions, That it's just a fantastic song. Have fun playing along to this, and I hope to see you in another video.